Hey guys, this is Nate with another episode of Five Minute Analyst. The last tutorial we did was on generating market areas for store locations. So what we're going to do now is be able to take those shapes that we created um, in Alteryx and present those in a map. So some of you might not be familiar with the different mapping platforms. The big one is, is ArcGIS. Um, the one that I like to use and it's open source is uh, from QGIS. So you can see um, my screen here. If you come up here, here's the website. Uh, if you just type in uh, QGIS into Google, it'll, it'll bring it up. Go to the downloads page. I have a Mac, so I'm downloading this. Uh, clicking on this uh, link takes me over to this page. So I download this package. It took about uh, 20, 25 minutes. So um, I've already done that before the video. But kick this off and uh, pause the video. And then once it downloads, come back and, uh, and start it up again. So once you've downloaded this, what you're gonna see is a series of um, different items to install. And what they did was they put zero, one, two, three, four, because you actually do have to install these packages uh, in sequence. Uh, if not, it, it won't work. So the first one we need to um, install is this GDAL complete. So we'll click on that. Okay, so it's it's a it's an unknown developer. So the Mac isn't going to want you to just install it. So what you need to do, right click open, and now it's going to give you two options. It's going to say open or cancel. This is what will let you actually open unidentified developers um, software in a Mac. So Windows, it might be a little bit different. So we hit open. We're going to run through these screens. If you want to read it, you can. I've already installed this several times on several different computers, so I feel pretty comfortable. It's going to ask me for my password. And it'll ask you for your password, at least on a Mac, for every single step. So, package one, installed successfully. Go ahead and move that one to trash. Now, number two. open. Password again because it's installing software onto the hard onto the hard disk. Package two is done. And as you can see a lot of these packages are uh, written in Python. Um, that's like this numpy. That's a common uh, programming language for GIS tools. Ask me for my password one more time. This is the third package. We've got one more after this one. Close that. Install QGIS. So in order to install QGIS, you have to basically have these uh, three uh, Packages installed proceeded because uh, QGIS needs some of the components uh, throughout the three of these. So right click, install. It's going to ask me for my password again. And as you can see here, it's saying you need to install all of these other things before you install QGIS. Just as a reminder, I learned that the hard way. password one more time and now it's actually going to install the application and then this is where we'll actually get to open it and um, set it up. All right so now QGIS is in our application folder. Let's double click on this Las Palmas is the most recent one. I've been using QGIS for a couple versions now. I think maybe it started on 2.14. And I've never had any problem moving through the, the different versions. So pretty reliable software. They've got a really big open source uh, community that's really committed to it. Um, obviously, I've done some work in QGIS before, so some of my old maps pop up. So what I want to do is basically get you up and running, right? The first thing you need in any map is a base map right like where are the streets so 
one cool thing that QGIS has is a whole suite of plugins. So in order to get to the plugins, and as you can see, I already have a couple of them downloaded, go to uh, the, the plugins on the, on the top browser, manage and install plugins, and I'll, I'll show you the ones that, um, that are most critical. The, um, the biggest ones are really the, uh, the open layers, because that's what's going to allow you to um, bring in um, like Google Maps. So Open Layers plugin is the one that I would, I would recommend uh, installing first. So go ahead and click on this, install it. Mine's already installed, uh, so I don't really have to do anything there. Um, I, I'll just click on these. Yeah, none of them even need, um, which one, there's a new version. Okay, so let's install that one. So open layers plugin, there's a new version. Let's upgrade the plugin. See, it's pretty straightforward to do this work. Um, plugin reinstalled successfully, that's great. So let's uh, quickly make a map and add a base layer to it. So we'll do new. Right now, obviously, you can't see anything, so that's not very fun. So if we come to web, this is where you're actually going to call your base map. So if you do open layers plugin, which is what we just installed, I upgraded mine, but you would be installing it for the first time, you see Google Maps. And basically, this is going to give you all these different options for base maps. The one that I typically default to is Google Streets. It's the one that everyone's most common... Uh, is, is most familiar with and here you have um, the world so um, okay we're in China and that's not overly helpful but basically what it's doing is it's uh, it's pulling in the data from the Google Maps API and it's giving you a basis to work from so the next video will actually take the shapes that we built um, for our primary market area tutorial and we'll actually plot them um, and what we'll end up with is for the entire state of Florida, um, in my case, I was doing Anytime Fitnesses, all of their locations, and then each location's five-minute drive time and five-mile radius. So be sure to tune in next time. Um, the next video will actually kind of tie everything together, and you'll actually see how you can go from the initial market area analysis to some interesting maps that might start to tell a little bit of story about your about your individual locations. So I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions, um, just comment on the video or or shoot me an email, etc. And, and I'll try and get them answered and get you guys up and running.